Hey, Rex. Uh, obviously, with Dante Gong being sidelined, um, I guess how do you feel like you're stepping into you know that go-to role and trying to fill that void? Uh, Dante, he was a great player. I don't really think you can fill the void that I mean he left. It's gonna take all the, all the other receivers to step up, including myself, to like collectively do it. I wouldn't say like just me doing myself would really fill the role that he had for the team. He was, he was one of the kind. So I think we all have to step up, not just myself. Coach was mentioning how Ohio State defensively has gotten better as the season has progressed. What's the biggest thing they do on that side of the ball to contain teams, and what's going to be the biggest challenge for you guys this Saturday? Uh, I mean, they do what everybody sees as a nation on TV. They play fast. They play as a team. That's why they're one of the best. I mean, their D-line is probably one of the strengths, so I say that's probably what helps the, the defense as a whole get to the quarterbacks. I mean, I think we just have to make the right decisions to come out. Do we gotta do? Um, when you guys went up to Penn State last year, you had a great game. Um, when when you see an opponent like this on the schedule, do you see this as a as an opportunity for for you and the, the team collectively to almost make a statement of sorts? Uh, I mean, you see the name and the, like the logo of the, like the big schools, but you take it as another game. I mean, those guys are the same age, doing the same kind of stuff you're doing. So I don't see it as like oh, I'm playing this big team. It's just it's another opponent. We also, we all saw what Dante did on the field as a receiver. Can you talk about what he did off the field as a leader in that receiver room? Uh, he was just, he brought like a lot of the energy. He brings up a little, he brings up, so I'm not playing. Uh, like I was saying, he just, he just brought all of the energy. Sorry. He just brought all of the energy. Uh, he was like the vocal guy. He was the most experienced. I mean, he led by example from how he went out and practiced every day to how he carried himself off the field. So I mean, he was he was he was a pro guy to just to be around the college locker. Um, it, it seemed like after Dante got hurt, and, and obviously it's not all attributable to that, but um, things just kind of spiraled out of control against Iowa. Is there anything when you watch film that you? try to learn from kind of what went on in those five minutes? From that second quarter? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just try to say, for me, just focus on the next play. I mean, last play is behind you. You make a mistake, you can't dwell on it. I mean, as a team, I just say, you just have to really just play to a standard, not to like, if we lose one guy, then it's all over. I mean, you just gotta keep, stay together and just keep fighting. Right? And kind of just going off that, you know, how do you avoid those mistakes uh, in future weeks again, especially against a team like Ohio State where you don't have a really big margin for error? I mean, it starts with practice, going out every day and doing what we have to do, and the game should come easy. I mean, mistakes are going to happen. It's football. I mean, you're not going to go a whole game without making one mistake. I mean, I know fans might like it, but I mean, it's not really possible. So, I mean, you just have to practice hard, and it starts Monday through Friday. Hey, um, you know, Coach was kind of saying how, you know, he felt this past game was kind of an outlier, especially for how Talia played. You know, as a guy in the offense here, what, what do you kind of say about your confidence in Talia and, and his ability to bounce back this week, as well as the whole offense, too? I mean, me personally, I have the utmost confidence in Leah. I mean, it's like, it's kind of like last year when we lost to Northwestern. Like, he came, bounced back from Minnesota game. The guys, like, totally forgot about it. He kept going on doing what he's doing now. I wouldn't I wouldn't say one game is defining who he's gonna be because I definitely think he's gonna bounce back for sure. Talking about bouncing back last year you mentioned the Northwestern game. Uh, you came out the next week, beat Minnesota, then you beat Penn State. What were the what were the keys to turning last season around and what kind of lessons did you draw from that that will help you guys this week? Uh, I say I mean Knowing that no opponent's gonna be like a pushover, you gotta come out on your A game every week. And like I said, it starts in practice.